Welcome here to the second cup of WTXL coffee. I'm Kelly Bartoli. Max Paris here with you as well. And we kind of had the giggles already today. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's a holiday. You're allowed. We're sleep deprived. We're sleep deprived. One or the other. Exactly. <laughs> a little bit of both. Yeah. So something that is a good way to help when you're sleep deprived coffee. Coffee. Of course. Dur uh, coffee. During the show, we had our Jimmy Kimmel recap. Mm -hmm. He was talking about coffee, about faking out faking out people pouring the same cup into the cheap little cup or the $7 one. Just like, have you seen the water challenge? I don't think he does it, not the water challenge, but the water short test where they get it from a hose, oh, but they say yeah. it's like, this one's from this the, the, fancy the Rocky French mountain. water. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. This one's infused with something. Just both from the tap. It's just water. It's awesome. Uh, no, this is some tips about you know, coffee. how you can enjoy your coffee. All right. How to get the most out of your coffee. Okay, sometimes you dump out the extra leftover coffee, right? Wrong. Don't do it. What do you do instead? Freeze the old coffee in an ice cube tray. Then the next day, you got milk, you got a nice coffee drink. Oh, that makes so much sense. See, doesn't that make sense? Yeah. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> it so looks like right. Harry Potter. Uh, but, but isn't that a lot of milk? That looked, that looked like it was a little bit too much milk. But, I mean, that does make sense. I like the idea. Oh. Uh, ah. Power through your bitter coffee. Doesn't Don't taste do good. Apparently, add a pinch of salt. That counteracts the bitter taste. Wouldn't Because of all that sugar science interact, reason. interact the bitter taste? Or uh, counteract the bitter taste? Yeah, but you got to add a lot of sugar. Who cares? <laughs> that's how you, that's what the coffee does for you. It's just sugar in a cup. Delicious sugar in a cup. <laughs> Uh, if you like to, you know, mask the flavor of coffee altogether by yeah. just pouring in creamer. Yeah. Instead, you can try fresh ingredients like cinnamon, orange zest. You put them right into the beans, and it gives the coffee a fresher, sweeter taste. I've heard that with um, nutmeg too. It's supposed to be good in coffee. Mm, that does sound good. I don't know. But yeah, I'm not a big uh, natural bean that's, fan. That's, that's a lot too, of work. That's too much work. Exactly. exactly. Because if you're supposed to be trying to, if you're supposed to try to wake up with the coffee. That, exactly. Like, you have to do that the night before. That That's mm. too much work. No, I think that Lance, if our engineer is watching, he's <laughs> he's very angry because he makes his own co coffee. He imports his own tea leaves. Well, he he's should just it bring down. it for everyone then. No, well, he doesn't want to. <laughs> that ice cube he trick, though. Himself. The ice cube trick is pretty good. good. Buzzfeed. I Keeping like that. it real. Life hacks. Okay, so we can't just have coffee. No. We gotta have. Do you like Rice Krispie treats? Who doesn't like Rice Krispie? Right. Are you not American? You like Rice Krispie treats. You gotta like the homemade ones, though. The no, homemade man. ones are so much better than yeah, the no, than no the one's arguing with ones. that. But again, laziness. A they theme go, with They the are day. very hard to make, <laughs> Rice Krispies. No, this lady, look at what she does. Cool. These are Rice Krispies. She built this business selling elaborately decorated Rice Krispie treats. Whoa. She puts them all up on her Instagram. I, like, look at these. These are Rice Krispie a treats. Purse there. It's a boom box. That's not just a purse, that's a Birkin bag. <laughs> That's a that, that's like that's a, a legit specific brand. Look at. So is that flat or is it like that's a layered? I guess no. I think it's, it's like it. layered, and I think you bite into it. Look at this. We need one of these for each of our faces. Oh, that looks like you, kind of Kelly. <laughs> the crown, especially. I'm. I just need to grow out a nice Look stash. <laughs> <laughs> nice handlebar mustache. See, this would be crazy for me to like. Look at it. It looks like a piece of pizza. Look. <gasps> that looks like. Breaded, that one's my favorite. Breaded buffalo wings. I think that one's my favorite because it totally looks like breaded chicken wings because of that, the, 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 the texture there and the celery. Was the celery even made out of? I don't know. The celery maybe that was. It didn't look like real celery. Maybe no. it was. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Could Crazy you? Stuff. That's the thing that's weird for me though is you'll see people do that too like on cooking shows where they make something that's something else but it looks, it's ice cream but it looks like spaghetti or and your brain's something weird. And your brain just Like and imagine picking up that. The, the chicken wing. Uh -huh. Thinking you're going to get like a spicy flavor and all of a sudden you're eating a Rice Krispie treat. I mean, treat. just like when you pour Sprite and you think it's water and you go, mmm, mm, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> brain just explodes. Your brain doesn't confusion. know what to do with it. No. I don't no. know what to do with that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Max also, if you didn't see on Facebook or Twitter, mm -hmm. Max decided to celebrate Labor, labor day, day today. The only way I know how. The only way. By going into labor. You gotta go into labor. <laughs> well, some of the comments on Facebook, though, someone asked if you needed Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I do. Hey, you never know. All right, let's, let's, go. Add, let's add it out of this face. Just go do this. Bye-bye. Happy Labor Day. <laughs>